My name is Amy Combs, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 28 years now. And I am in Jill's second level of Stampin' Up! So I guess she's my grandma. And um, I love everything about Stampin' Up! But I'm here today to share with you um, some things to do with the memories and more card packs. I've done that before when I was here. And the products I'm going to use today are all out of the annual catalog. So this is the card that I'm going to show you how to make. It opens like this, and then it's gonna open this way, and you can put a little gift card or some cash in there for a new little baby. So I'm gonna show you a lot of different tips and tricks here for this card, so let me go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I'm gonna use today is the Memories and More Cards, and this pack is called Today is the Day, and it is in the annual catalog, and you get 54 cards in the pack, and um, some sticker sheets. So they come in four by six and three by four. And they're double-sided. So you get all kinds of different cards here. And then you get some sticker sheets, four of them to be exact. And then you also have the larger cards. And so I'm gonna go through my project here and I'm gonna find the cards and I'm gonna give you um, a couple tips on how to do that. When I use the cards and I do them at home, what I do is I put them like this up like at the top so I can see all of the ones that I need. So what I'm gonna do today is kind of just flip through here to find which ones I need and then I'm gonna show you this one. And sometimes you can't find the card you really need. Let me go over here to the small ones. This one is for the front, you see it? I, I wanted to show you guys the um, pack, which is why I didn't go through and find the cards earlier, which I probably should have done. So they're all double-sided, so we'll just flip through them to find the ones that we need. Oh, here's my green. Garden green. And then this one is gonna go right there. And then we're gonna use this one is right here. And I think I have all of them, right? There is this one. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna put all the rest of my cards away because I don't need those. I will need the sticker sheets, um, so I'll keep those out here. So, Okay, I'm also gonna use the Memories and More card pack. Um, the cards and envelopes are great value. You get 20 cards, 10 large ones and 10 small ones, and then of course 20 envelopes. And what I am going to do today is I am going to use one large, card and one small card to make this. So what I'm gonna do first is fold my card in half, okay? And this part is right here, so you understand what I'm doing, okay? And then this smaller card is going to go like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that. And it's gonna adhere to the back because I didn't put like a liner on this in the front, in the middle here. So um, if you are gonna put another layer here, you could put this this way, and then when you put the layer on it, it would not show. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop it onto the back right now. I use Seal Plus, that's my adhesive of choice. I like it because it is very sticky. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna place it right onto the back, okay? So now I have the card that you see. It's gonna fold like this and like this. So we're just gonna start on the front piece and I'm gonna go panel by panel and show you how to put it together. So this is the black polka dot here. Go ahead and layer that. And then this piece here, is this larger card. 
And it's a four by six card, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut it down to four by four. So get my trimmer out, line it up with the four inch mark here, and make sure to use the dark blade. That is your cutting blade. And then all of my scraps I save and I use them on other projects with the rest of my cards. Okay, and then for this piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that here. And you kind of line it up with a little bit here. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do this front piece. So I'm gonna take the mint macaron uh, polka dot piece. And then I have Hello Sweet Pea. And you'll notice this right here. So that's a sticker. And I'm gonna go here and just pull that off. Okay, so I wanna put this on my card so it's like this. And so I don't wanna put the dimensionals on this side of the hello. So I, I wanna be careful when I flip it over and just put them right here. And then I always put one in the middle so it doesn't sag in the middle. And then peel your pieces off. And you want to put it on so it doesn't you want it on the left hand side to line up so you have this here okay then I'm gonna go to my sticker sheet and I'm gonna pull off this one so you have to flip through your sheets and it is actually this piece right here and it has this you could trim that off if you want but what I did was I just went ahead and tucked it underneath like so and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my embellishments and my ribbon on at the very, very end. So we're gonna open this up right now and we will go to this panel here, okay? This piece here is cut from that scrap. Okay, my card measures three inches. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this at three inches. And then this is about an inch, so I'm gonna do an inch and a quarter. I should have put it on before I put the dimensionals on. So I might need to trim it a smidgen. So now it's cohesive with this piece here. And when I close it, um, you can trim off the edge just a little bit if you need to. And you can use your existing card as your um, little template. To trim that off so if you don't like the back side of one of the memories and more cards and you're doing something like this you can just cover that up with a piece that you already have okay this piece here is what is going to go right here so i'm going to go ahead and fussy cut that and fussy cutting just means to trim around it and i'll go kind of quickly and it kind of looks hand drawn which is really cute so you can do a lot with these cards and that's what i'm trying to show you today the cards are a great value they are beautifully colored and the colors all coordinate, which is what is wonderful about Stampin' Up! product. And you then can, um, everything coordinates, so it's gonna go wonderfully together no matter how you put the cards together with each other. I have this card here, the black one is gonna go here. So just when you look at the cards at first, you might get a little overwhelmed because there are a lot of choices. Um, I kind of play with them and put them together uh, as to how I would like to use the cards, you know, which ones go together and which ones um, don't, and you'll find that you can put a lot of them together to make some great projects. You can do scrapbook pages, you can do cards, you can do bags, all kinds of stuff. Uh, banners are really fun with these cards too. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip this over right here. I went off a little bit right there to just kind of cover up the seam. And so here is the inside piece. Now at the bottom here, you are going to put your sticker, which is right here. So I'll pull that off and I'm gonna go over the fold about a half an inch and put that down. Trim with my snips. And you can save these stickers to use on something else. I just kind of put them back on. And then this card is what goes right here. 
And what I'm gonna do is put it into my cutter diagonally like this. So this is gonna be the top here, which is right here. And then I'm gonna move it over so I have this pocket right here. And just, oops, just trim that piece off. Again, make sure to save all these little pieces for some other project that you wanna do. And then on here, so, it's gonna go right here, and I wanna use some dimensionals because um, I want it to be popped up a little bit. So what I'm gonna use is the corner pieces. So I'm gonna kinda lay them like that and see where I need to cut. And I'm gonna use this whole strip. Oh, and I did it backwards here, let me do this one. I love to save the strips, um, the edges of my dimensionals for projects like these. And then I'm gonna use a little piece right here and go ahead and put that down. I'm gonna cover up where that little um, black and white strip went there. And then I'm gonna take the other one off my sticker sheet and lay it down so it looks cohesive across there. And then you can just snip this piece off. And then I'm gonna pull in this sticker here and I'm gonna pop a couple dimensionals on the back about that, and that's gonna go right here. Okay, now my stamp here, I chose to use the, Sen the Charming Sentiment set, and I wanted to show you a little trick that you can do with this. I'm gonna use a couple um, stamp sets, or stamps in here. So I'm gonna use the So Tiny and Precious, and the Congratulations, and I haven't really used this set yet. But what's awesome is once you peel them off of here, you can stick them right here. So um, that is nice. Okay, so I have a block here. And when I put my blocks or my stamps, the photopolymer ones on the blocks, what I do is I put them onto my paper. And I don't want them sticking to my fingers, of course. And I take my block and I put the block down so that my stamp is on here straight. I found if I do this, sometimes my stamp is crooked or um, it goes up on one end rather than being straight. So I do it like this and then I can layer that one there. So I'm putting two blocks on, or two stamps onto the one block. And then I take my Memento Black ink And I'm gonna go ahead, and because it's photopolymer, I can see through. And stamp that like so. Okay, now I wanna get into the favorite, my favorite part about making cards or anything with Stampin' Up! product is doing some ribbon work on it. So what I'm gonna do is I have this black and white gingham ribbon, and I'm gonna wrap it around and bring this up and snip it off. I'm gonna tie this in a knot right here. And then I'm gonna go in and bring probably my second favorite ribbon, which is the white crinkle ribbon. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take, I don't know, I just pull some off. Like I probably have 15 to 18 inches. And I'm gonna take a stamp and blend marker. I'm gonna take the bullet tip, which you can tell there's a fine tip here and the bullet tip here, and I'm gonna pull that off and I'm gonna color my own ribbon. So just go ahead and color it with the brush tip. Make sure you have a paper underneath you um, because it will go through a little bit. When you, this ribbon is a little hard to work with and when you color it with the blends, it um, makes it a little bit stiffer so it's a little bit easier than to work with. So I'm just gonna color the whole thing, bear with me while I do this. And because it's alcohol based, it'll dry pretty quickly. It does go through to the other side, yes. So I have this, and then I double it, and I bring my card back in, and I take this, and I put it underneath where that knot is, and I tie it, and then I tie the bow. Okay, so I have this, and then I take about 12 inches 
of linen thread and I do the same thing. So you have like a knot and then a bow and then a bow. And of course, whenever you're doing a demonstration, you can't tie the bow as quickly. You can just go ahead and tie your bow. And then you can kind of fan out your pieces here, trim off what you don't like, and then I'm gonna trim this a little shorter and this a little shorter. And then what I did here is I just cut it up. I'm only gonna do one side because it takes a little bit of time. Just trim that. It just kind of makes your bow a little bit fuller. And then you have two tails instead of one. And I'll do that one later. And then to finish my card off, I wanna pull in some black matte dots. These are my favorite embellishment in the catalog. And I'll grab a pair of tweezers, or you can use your take your pick tool. And I'm gonna do a small one. And then on the inside, I'm gonna follow my sample and do one here. And that is my card. Okay. Thank you.